I'm almost certain I'm on a fucking list. I don't think I've ever told this story on stream, but when I was in high school, I got sopped by cus by fucking customs twice. When I went to Cancun for like my fucking my my stepfather's sister's wedding, my my step aunt. I guess she's just kind of my aunt. You'll ask him for an emote. <laughs> but uh so when I was in high school, I had this this broccoli, this hoodie with a broccoli pattern on it that said blaze it. And I like the genius I was, wore this hoodie and I went through tried to go through Mexican customs while wearing it. And let me tell you, Mexican drug enforcement does not fuck around. So what they did is they some like fucking really intimidating dude with like a rifle fucking pulled me aside and was like i'm searching your bag but i have like one of those bags that's just like a tube and the dude and the dude fucking went like shoulder deep into the fucking tube dude and uh uh yeah it was it was very strange how I, and 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 so he obviously didn't find any weed. I that hoodie was ironic. I don't wear it anymore because these days people don't interpret it as being ironic, right? And so I went. I went to this wedding. It was super weird because it was like my aunt, my aunt, and all of her friends. But they're like in their thirties now, so they were all like, I was like hanging out with a bunch of drunk thirty-year-olds plus like. You know, like my mom and my and my and my stepfather and his and his family, and so uh, it was very odd. And then, so in the Cancun airport, okay, this wedding was in Playa del Carmen, but you know, you fly into Cancun because that's that's the the closer location. But I was in a, but in my way back in the Cancun airport, Guy Fieri has a restaurant, and I was like, dude, shit, the Flavor Town restaurant. Fuck yeah, dude! I'm gonna get. I'm not go to fucking Flavor Town, dude. And so I got the. I get the sandwich, and it has um. And it has a bunch of shit in it, including like pork. And so I bring the sandwich with me onto the plane, and I'm eating it on the plane. And I and I get off the plane. And I still have about half the sandwich left. And I go through U.S. Customs, and they're like going through it and they're like okay do you have any like uh, do you have like do you have any like food on you do you have any like pork i was like i have a sandwich on me i think there's pork in there and dude oh my god and they were like okay and i had to i got pulled aside by u.s customs this time because i had a fucking guy fieri pork sandwich and they were like, okay, we you have to throw away the sandwich and they like x-rayed my bag and shit and they were like and I, and I, because, because it was like, they, you're not allowed to bring pork into the United States from Mexico for like, ag to prevent like the spreading of agricultural diseases. Okay. So I get stopped by fucking U.S. Customs and by Mexican Customs because I'm like 17 and I'm a fucking moron. And I think that if I'm on a list, that's why. I stopped getting TSA pre-approved after that too, which is hilarious. Cause I used to, I used to just get like TSA pre-approved when I was a teenager. This is like, it was a different, I, so it, it wasn't even the same custom. I got stopped by Mexican customs on the way, way out or the way into Mexico and, uh, and U.S. customs on, on, in the way into the United States. Yes, I got stopped because there was pork in my Guy Fieri sandwich. Okay. That's why I got caught in U.S. customs and they had to like search my shit.